All right, last night as I was uh, kind of wrapping up the night, it's about 7, 7.30, um, plenty of sun still. I had dinner. Uh, a man and a woman in their black lab were walking up the trail. Uh, they walked by, they said hi, waved at them. Um, real polite, real nice, they walked by. Not five minutes later, they come back to the trail and it's in, you know, they're older couples, but they stop and they're like, hey, do you mind if we, you know, sit and talk to you? So I'm like, sure. So for like the next 10 minutes, they basically politely interrogated me to figure out how I found this spot. They were they were polite about it, but they were like, well, we were just, you know, it's a tight-knit community and not many people outside this area really know about this spot. And we were just curious if you would ever, you know, how you found it and if you knew anybody, you know, that had been here. Dang. What is it? <laughs> Looks evil. So anyway, after like talking to them for like 10 minutes, we uh, I assured them that I wasn't gonna be like, it's probably gonna land on my head. He wants my coffee, get away from my coffee. Get away from my coffee. Shoot, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Is it gone? <laughs> So we pretty much ended the conversation there, and just before he left, I asked him, uh, you know, asked about the creek, whatever, the river, and he gave me some good information about that, but he also went into detail about the black grass saw. said it was a two-year-old cub that pushed out of the uh, out of the den, but there was a mother here somewhere that had some um, some cubs with her, so just be careful with her. But uh, the biggest thing he said to take from and be really wary of is that there are some five-foot prairie rattlers. Uh, his black lab got hit like two years ago, had to be rushed to the, the vet, um, and he said they see him. He was carrying a stick with a, he had made a, basically a dagger on a point on the, on the end of it. He, he basically told me, he said, you know, <laughs> don't worry about the bears, but get yourself a stick and sharpen it to a point and take care of those rattlers. But I told him I'm not gonna kill any, you know, I'm not gonna kill any any snakes, um, only catch and release in Barbless. And he thanked me, told me to have a good trip, and uh, that's pretty much where we're at today. All right, so hiked in about a mile. Found me a stick to bounce around on the ground since there's some big rattlesnakes in the area. Gonna uh, nymph it up in the beginning. Fished uh, dries mostly yesterday. I wanna see what's in the bottom. Uh, as the day goes on, I'll probably switch out to dry flies just cause it's a lot of fun. You don't have to worry about, you know, sitting on a pool for very long. Just watching fish come up and eat a dry is pretty exciting. So, but uh, for now I'm gonna hike through there and hopefully there's a way down the river. All right, I found my way down. Gonna go for it. <laughs> the worry I have is sliding right into a rattlesnake. So I don't wanna get out of control going down this hill. I'm gonna be able to stop. Do you hear something light up? All right, and we're there.
All right, so I had fun uh, nymphing, but didn't come all the way to Wyoming to, to, to watch an indicator. So I'm gonna, I tied on a dry fly. I'm just gonna dry fly fish for a little bit. Uh, same thing, that top shelf hop or stone fly. And uh, might change my mind a little bit and switch back up. But now I'm gonna, just gonna see if I can get something to come up and eat. On the surface. That's way more fun than watching it, Indicator. I'm thinking it's down there. That's mama bear and baby bear.
All right, so uh, back at camp, had a, an awesome day just throwing dry flies. Nipped a little bit in the morning, but uh, fish were rising, so I just tied on a size 10, maybe a size 12, uh, just a foam pattern. Went out there and just uh, fished. Uh, hiked up past uh, where I've been fishing, which was the canyon section, and it mellowed out a lot. Just uh, just great dry fly uh, water. So that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I'm just gonna go back to the same place. This this place is so special, I just can't imagine leaving after two days. The, the quality of the rainbows are like some of the prettiest that I've seen. Wild uh, browns and rainbows and cutthroat. I mean, it's just amazing. So I'm gonna go back up there. It's probably, it took me about an hour to get back here. So I'll go up there and start there and work my way from that point up so it'll be a long day yet today uh, it'll be a long day tomorrow as well but uh going with the sweet pork and rice um from the peak refuel the cool thing about it is lots of calories 800 calories but it's real food so let me set this down i'm gonna show you what i mean like they actually put like real ingredients in and i'm not affiliated with them at all i just think they make great meals they don't last as long i think the shelf life is I want to say like five years, but if you can't eat one of these in five years, then you're probably not getting out enough. It's so good. Well done, dudes. I would eat this at home. It's that good.